She packed my bags last night pre-flight Zero hour, Nanny Hill And I'm gonna be high As a kite by then Yeah, Donnie? I think maybe you should probably check the news. Check the news? Yep. Alright. Hello, this is Ricky Bowers with the Capital City Daily News. Our top story tonight? A horrible sickness is spreading across the nation and leaving millions of people sick and millions of other people unemployed. And so the government has issued a statement saying that people must stay at home in order to stop the spread of the sickness and also practice social separation from people. Otherwise, you're just gonna be sick. Is that? Oh, I just received word that three people in the studio just got tested positive for the sickness. Therefore, I am now out of a job. So, which means there's something I always wanted to say. You don't really grudge my gears, you America. F what? We have to stay at home. Yep, pretty much. But how come? I mean, none of us are even sick. Well, yes, but we don't want to risk other people getting sick or getting sick from other people. At least until, you know, they find a potential cure. Well, how long is it going to take for them to find a cure? I don't know, it could be days, weeks, months, or years. Or maybe it could just be like the flu and, you know, become a regular thing. Well, I don't believe you. It's probably just fake news or something. Besides, I need to go out anyways. Oh, sorry, Baby Lamb. Uh, what are you doing, Chief Mark? Sorry, Baby Lamb, I cannot let you to go outside. Why? Because, haven't you seen the news? Well, yes, but- It is required by law that everyone must stay at home in order to prevent ourselves from getting the sickness. And also, we have to keep at least six feet apart from each other. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go turn myself in. See what I mean? Alright, alright, I get it, I get what you're saying. Man, this bites. Tell me about it! You know, my welfare check recently came in, and I managed to buy myself three tickets to Disneyland. Wait, three tickets? Yeah, three for me, myself, and I. But guess what? Because of the sickness, me, myself, and I can't go to Disneyland because it's closed. You know, that hasn't even happened in years. And the worst part is, those tickets are not refundable. So what am I going to do with them? You could keep them as souvenirs. Yeah, well, that's actually a good idea. I really need to get to the bottom of this. What the? What? Quarantine? What's quarantine? Quarantine! To be put in isolation because of a disease. Okay. You, yes, you, sitting there or standing there right there. Yes, I'm talking to you. You are watching the DTV network. Or D Television. D Television has everything. All the entertainment you want. You choose it, you want it, we play it. It's all up to you. If you want entertainment. Hey guys, what you watching? No idea, but I love it. Yeah, it's like Charlie and Friends, but much more entertaining. Hey, does anyone know where Cow is? No idea. I haven't seen him since everyone was forced to stay at home. What the? A Zoom call? What the? Cow? Hey, BB Lab. Oh, uh, hi, Cow. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, isn't that what people are supposed to be doing nowadays because of this pandemic? You know, calling through something called Zoom? Um, well, yes, but neither of us are sick, so I don't see why we should call each other. I mean, seriously. Oh, uh, well, still, still, I don't want to risk getting sick. What are you talking about? S well, that's what people are implying. Sorry. Cal, we literally live with each other. Not to mention, you're right across from me. I'll call you back. I'm action, people. <laughs> Sorry, b I just got really nervous. You know, ever since this whole pandemonium started, you know, I was worried that I wasn't allowed to actually be with my friends or something. Well, it's all for the... I understand how you're feeling, Cal, but it's all for the benefit of keeping us safe. And keeping others safe, too. Well, yeah, but I'm worried that we're gonna get sick. We're not gonna get sick. 
just as long as we stay at home, take good precautions like covering our mouths when we cough or sneeze, and of course, washing our hands and keeping ourselves clean. Oh, don't worry, BLM. I'm always clean. Uh, Cal, no offense, but you're not exactly the definition of a clean person. You're right, BLM. It's time I change my habits. From now on, I'm gonna roll in the dirt two times a day instead of three. Well, it's a start. But baby lamb, I just have one teeny tiny question. What's that, Cal? How long is it gonna be before things get back to normal? Yeah, that's a that's a very big question, Cal. And I don't know. And I mean, unless they find a cure, I guess we're just gonna have to live like this. Man, this sucks. I know it's affecting all of us. But remember, we're all in this together. And, and we just gotta get used to the fact that we're living in a quarantine life. Quarantine life? Yep. I wake up every morning and see the sun. I eat breakfast, brush my teeth. My day's begun. I put on a mask one piece at a time. I hit my back inside because it's quarantine life. Quarantine life. We're in it. Self-quarantine. We're in it. Self-quarantine. Hey, Uncle! Oh, uh, hey, Baby Lamb. Uh, what's the matter? Oh, you, you really want to know what's wrong? Of course I do. Alright, well, uh, you know how I've been taking a night nice school lately, right? Yeah, you told me about it. Well, it wasn't easy, but I managed to finish it. And I passed. Wow, really? That's... It's awesome! I'm ha Congratulations! Wait, how's that a bad thing? Well, that's not the bad thing. See, because I finished night school, I was supposed to have like a really big and pompous graduation ceremony. You know, with a, in a big ass auditorium hall with, a, with, with lights and decorations and everyone together wearing caps and gowns and bombastic music and pianos and get my diploma and stuff. But guess what? That, that graduation event is cancelled. Yeah, the biggest event of my life is cancelled because of the freaking pandemic. Now, I just have to watch a pre-recorded ceremony at home. And I can't even, like, I can't even get my diploma or shake the principal's hand. No, because apparently that's illegal right now. This sucks. I've worked my butt off for, like, literally all my life to blood, sweat, tears, and maybe some diarrhea. And I get this. I get that's supposed to keep people healthy, but this is not the type of graduation ceremony I wanted. Well, I'm really sorry that happened, but you know, it could have been much worse. Really? How? Well, you could have gotten no graduation ceremony at all. They would have just sent your diplomas through the mail and that's it. They wouldn't find any other way to celebrate everyone who's graduating this year. Yeah, you do make a good point there. I mean, I did notice that this year gives us other ways to celebrate all those seniors and stuff. I just wish this pandemic didn't happen at all. I mean, is there a reason why it happened at all? Does God hate us or something? Well, I don't want to drag religion to this, but I don't think that's the case. It just happened because... just because. And we just had to find a way to get ourselves through this. You're right, baby lamb. Yeah, as long as we... as long as we take this one day at a time, then we can make it through just about anything. As long as we have each other. You're right, baby lamb. You know you're lucky you're just a youngling. I'm pretty sure soon you're gonna be able to graduate from high school or college as well. But by then, that pandemic's gonna be over, and things are gonna be back to normal, and you'll get yourself a fancy graduation. And I'll be there just to celebrate you when that happens. Aw, oh, thanks, Uncle. You'll always be my favorite nephew. Now go on and play with your friends or whatever. Thanks, I will. <sighs> and that goes for all of you out there. We will get through this, and everything's gonna be okay. Just as long as we take this one day at a time. We will get through this, and soon, we'll be able to look back on this and be glad that we kept ourselves safe, and we kept each other safe. Wow, but, wow Cal, you're reading a book? Yep. I might as well find some way to pass the time while I'm stuck at home. Not to mention, I can use this as toilet paper. 
you know, because because we're running out of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All right, take care, you guys. Thank you.